Hello everyone and welcome back to Scandinavian Design 101. I'm Sanna. I'm Andreas and we are two Swedes and we love design. Mm -hmm. And this is our second video about the Finnish textile artist Marietta Metsovara. We'll pick up where the last video ended, so if you haven't watched it already, it might be a good idea to do that first. Let's start. Yeah. In the 1960s, the demand grew for printed fabrics in Finland as a result of the flourishing middle class emerging in the urban areas. Industrial production started replacing the traditional craftsmanship because of the raising demand for clothing and not least home textiles. All the small modernist apartments built in uh, post-war Finland needed textiles. Mm -hmm. And Marietta realized this and the collaboration with the Tampella uh, textile factory was the start of her career as a designer of printed fabrics. And it was actually a side activity but a big one. Uh, she invented a new woven cotton uh, concept uh, with uh, engineers at the Tampela weaving mill in Lapiniemi. It was extremely strong, silky in touch and ideal to take in the reactive dyes that got a prominent development in 1966. And this fabric is wrongfully translated as Lapland satin. <laughs> yeah. And initially the aim was to uh, produce clothing fabrics for the fashion company Salon Leninki took uh, sorry old Finnish uh, it's hard to it's try difficult. To pronounce. And first out was the pattern Kukka uh, Finnish for flower uh, designed in 1962. And it was not only used for clothing, but also redesigned with repeat um, and developed as uh, lappy satin print for multi-use as curtains and home decor. Other qualities for home textiles were produced uh, with kukka, such as plastified tabletops, canvas and garden textiles. And yearly, Tampela came to produce more than half a million meters of fabric for Metsuvara. Wow. Yeah. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. And in 1968, stylish wovens like the Ruska series and the Primavera Chacard were used for uh, beautiful linenware tabletops woven at the Tampella. Let's say that Marietta got very well served uh, from uh, Tampella. CEO Gigi Fors uh, had a huge esteem for Marietta and sent his uh, chauffeur to pick her up at her apartment in Brunsparken in Helsinki day in and day out. Nice. <laughs> yeah. The lappi satin uh, uh, was also used by Marimekko and also Timo Sarpanieva for his Ambiente collection. And the great visionary ladies of print design in Finland were Armi Ratcha of uh, Marimekko and Marietta Metz of Sovara. And the difference was that Armi Ratcha generously mentioned the name of each designer for the print fabric, but at Metz Sovara only Marietta Metz Sovara was ever mentioned. Mm. Marietta's prints during this time can be divided into three different styles. In the early 60s, she mainly created graphic patterns with plant motifs and Renaissance and Baroque ornamentation. Influences came also from Art Nouveau artists like the Scottish designer Charles Rennie Mackintosh and not least his wife Margaret MacDonald. You can see this with her design Rusu. Some other patterns from this times are Mexico, Pizzi, Isu Renaissance, Samurai, and Sayonara. Later in the 60s, Marietta shifted into drawing more scarce and geometrically shaped flowers of a larger size. The patterns became more uh, monochrome and geometrical and were highly influenced by modern paintings. Two examples are Kaisla and Meteori. In the early 70s, her designs got more architectural and simplistic with strong color combinations. For example, Alto, Cupla, Vulcano and uh, Largo. Let's take a closer look at some of her many different patterns.
Today, when hearing the name Metsvara, most people think of these colorful patterns, uh, but her main activity was actually dressing houses and woven fabric design. Beautiful translucent curtains were produced at the weaving mill in Uriala and at the Villa Utume Oy, where the Dralon Boralis collection came out. And these wonderful curtains uh, from man-made fibers were dust repellent, strong and light and ideal component to fill the great floor to ceiling windows in modern architecture. Mm-hmm. In 1962, the same year as Marietta started developing printed textile patterns for Tampela, she also founded a modern weaving mill in the Belgian town of St. Niklas. The town is known for being a cradle of the Belgian textile industry with a history dating back to the 17th century. A Japanese architect was hired to design the new mill and when ready it became a highly advanced factory equipped for spinning yarns and weaving fabrics for the specialized contract market. Except for the actual mill, there were also a large showroom and textile research center. The textiles developed here were the most advanced in the world and delivered to some of the best known furniture manufacturers in the world. Among them, Artec, Artifort, Noll and B&B Italia. It was expensive fabrics often made as special orders for public spaces as hotels and restaurants. Hotels worldwide, theaters all over Finland, including Finlandia, Talo, Finnair, Sabena, uh, the Dutch and the Belgian railways. Prototypes for Expo 63, 66 and 69 were all supplied by the mm-hmm. Belgian mill. Through work, she met her future husband, the gentleman Albert van Hafre, in 1960. And this happened because both Marietta and Albert were buying yarns at the Phoenix in Holland. Job Fights of Phoenix was in wonderful terms with both of them. And one day, Albert, who was working for the Van Hafre van der Velde mill in uh, St. Niklas, asked Job Fights if he could uh, recommend a good textile designer, preferable from Scandinavia. Mm-hmm. Modern design was needed, and there was an upcome in the furniture industry in Germany as well as in Scandinavia. So Job Fights told Albert, Look Albert, I know one. She is really good and famous. What she does, no one does. You will be very happy. So in 1960, Marietta was picked up at the Brussels airport and brought to the Van Hafre van der Velde mill. Marietta presented the first Jacquard designs, and these became huge success. Uh, but the environment at the mill was not good with the, the several uh, Van Hafre siblings. Oh. One of the brothers was only interested in like horses and another one in Ferrari cars. <laughs> yeah. And Albert's father, Romain Van Hafre, was a bit short-sighted and Marietta saw this. She told Albert that it was time to leave and create a modern weaving mill. And Albert said, but I have no money for this. And Marietta replied, I have money. I will take care of this. Uh, So up came the most modern weaving mill in the world in 1962. In 1965, she decided to leave Finland for good, moving to Belgium after she got married with Albert in Helsinki. Still visiting her home country on a regular basis, she continued to run her Finnish showroom and business for another 15 years, flying with Finnair every 15 days and staying in Finland a full week. Finally, in 1980, the company Metsovara Oy was sold to textile company Selgren Oy, and she continued to design Metsovara collections for a couple of years. The quality and collections of Selgren were, however, low compared Mm. to the artistic values and quality norms of Marietta Metsovara. Yeah, Uh, yeah, and most of our focus was now set on the Belgian mill, and the company flourished during the 80s. Many new fabrics were invented, like the first 3D jacquard with triple beam. The... Jacquard looms were using punch cards and the knowledge of textile design with the technical knowledge of technician Marcel Hilgert was just win-win. Endless designs in huge color scales were made and there uh, was extensive use of flame-proof Trivira CS. 
contract or still the main business uh, uh, with uh, supply to airline companies, hotel chains like uh, Hilton and Sheraton, as well as the White House in Washington, King's Palaces, government buildings and cruise liners. Uh, they were like floating palaces. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, Celia Line was supplied. Okay, that was not floating palaces. No, not really. Uh, no, it's more like uh, you drink booze on yeah. those boats. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's what it yeah, is. It's the boats going between Sweden and Finland. Uh, and Åland. And Åland, yes. <laughs> uh, Carnival Cruises, for, uh, first three ships, were the last order the mill got before it was sold to Kral and Rot in 1990. Mm. In the late 60s, Mayatta bought a modernist-looking bungalow designed by the young Finnish architect Juhani Katainen. She had it transported from Finland to Belgium and reassembled close to a factory in the middle of the park of her property in St. Niklas. Furnished by Space Age design by designers like Eero Arnio and Pierre Paulin and filled with her own colorful textiles, the Enso Gutzeit bungalow soon became a showcase for Metsuvara. In this light and futuristic environment, she came to design a long range of textiles and patterns then sent to Finland or the close-by factory to be manufactured. Late in life, Marietta moved to the house she bought in saint jean cap back in 1963 near the town of Nice, but often spent her summers in Urshala at her childhood home. Even at the age of 78, she was driving back and forth from Nice to Urjala. <laughs> Mariatta Metsuvara passed away in 2014 at the age of 87. Yeah. And this was our second and last video about Mariatta Metsuvara. Mm. And if you want to know more about her or buy some of the nice textiles, check out the webpage metsuvara.com. Or fee. Or fee. Or <laughs> shop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, and if you like this video, please click thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, and follow us on Instagram. We are called Scandinavian Design 101. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you.